Alright, the classic Hendrix slide. Right into the E. He did that a lot, especially uh, in a lot of blues songs. It's just E. So, in addition to the, the slide and then the open E, pick the, the high E here too. And the B in there if you want to. That's a signature Hendrix move. Um, you're bending to the blues note, bending and releasing, and then going to the E here. So on the on the second fret of the G, and then ending on the second fret of the D, which is the E. So. thing this is one of my favorite things uh, about Jimmy when he didn't have a univibe he just moved that pickup back and forth and what you do you can control the speed I mean you're switching to each pickup really quickly so you're engaging uh, each one of these pickups at uh, different speeds and so you're going, you know, to the neck pickup and to the middle pickup, to the bridge and in between really quickly. And it gives it that fake univibe sound. And really you want to you want to start on the, the bridge pickup. Because if you start here like I did, it's too a little dull. So start on the bridge pickup. Do a monster bend here. You're bending up to this blues note, and sometimes you can bend in between these uh, the third and fourth fret on the, the G string there. Um, but start with that bend. It's a nice slow bend, and once you start bending, you can hear with your ear the speed that you want to do with this. So, Anyway, um, that's a neat little trick to do. And when you, uh, when you're doing that, don't pick it outright by itself. Give it that muted rake. Even if you hit a few other notes, I mean, you're still in open. I mean, you're still in E, so I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm down half a step, but it doesn't really matter. What's another one? Using the harmonic and then using the old whammy bar and bringing it down. Did a lot of that. I have a floating bridge, so it's... Uh, it's, I like the floating bridge a little better. It's a little easier to fall out of tune, but it sounds really good, especially when you're trying to do things like this. So, I mean, you gotta, if you do it a lot, you're gonna, you're gonna fall out of tune pretty quickly. So, if you're doing a live show, uh, be careful with that, because you can knock it out of tune pretty quickly. Harmonic. Bring it back up, give it a little vibrato. Then another one. Bending up to this E. And then I got this E. Make sure they're in perfect. I mean, 
Got to bend up to it just right and then give it a little bit of vibrato. <laughs> It's tough to do, actually. Um, and if you accidentally catch, like I did, I caught this G string. It's just a little bonus. It's... it's just a little bonus. I mean, sometimes it can it can get in the way there, but if you accidentally catch it, I mean, it, it was, it's not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. <laughs> You do that with just about any notes up here. You can bend them to the same note. Oh, that's an even. What's another one here? That one's a an new one. Uh, I heard that one on. Um, who knows? By Hendrix, and uh, I think that was with Band of Gypsies, and he bends up with the B, and then he catches the G string on his way down. He he pinches off the B, catches the G right there, and brings it back down. So that's that's tough to do because your instinct is to is to push the rest of these strings up with uh, with your nail, and you want you don't want to do that this time. What you want to do is you want to leave your finger a little rolled back, not so much vertical because if it's vertical, it's going to push the rest of these strings up above the nail. And what you want to do, you want to roll your finger back a little bit so they get caught underneath. See, I'm almost catching the, the D string in there too. But just pick the B. And have your middle finger ready to go, ready to release. <laughs> 